What's up? How are you doing today? Oh, me? I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Well, what am I doing here? It's not like I'm at a random college campus for the sole purpose of fitting the aesthetics for this video about school. No, not at all. I gotta get serious for a second. Spent the last four semesters of college grinding, focusing so much on school and really getting to dive into my interests. And through this, I learned so much about myself. I studied online and I realized that I could actually enjoy myself in the process of learning and creating a career path that I love and deserve. Entering this last semester, although I felt excited, I found myself very nervous and subconsciously self-sabotaging. At about week four of my classes, I realized that I had returned to old habits of doing my work at the last minute and bombing my tests because I had waited too late to study. I worked so hard the last few semesters to get almost all A's and on the Dean's list four semesters in a row. Just to end like this, why was my brain doing this to me. I felt so sad and disappointed in myself, but also unsure if I could bounce back from this. Why would I self-sabotage when the finish line is literally right there? Literally right in my line of vision. All I had to do was take one step and cross it. Well, the truth is, I felt overwhelmed. I felt so afraid of what was to come, of no longer being a student, and of stepping into the real world, as they say. Leaving behind this chapter and really getting to apply everything that I had learned along the way. But why was this so hard? Shouldn't this be exciting, liberating? A relief to finally finish what it felt like took me so many years to get through. Another truth that I had to accept when reflecting upon and asking myself these questions was that I felt disappointed that I wasn't crossing the finish line in the way that I had initially expected. I wasn't graduating in the year I expected. It took me two more years to graduate than it traditionally should have. I wasn't graduating with the people in my life that I thought I would as my whole life had shifted ever since going back to school. I wasn't graduating with the degree I started with in 2016. So yeah, I wasn't ending this chapter of my life or beginning the new chapter of my life in any of the ways that I expected. But I think that accepting this truth so that I could really let go of these old expectations and therefore release any disappointments that I had in standing confidently in this new reality really gave me the agency to step into what is here. I've realized that the new expectations that I have for myself, I have fulfilled and even superseded. I spent the beginning years of my college experience dealing with my own mental health struggles like severe depression and even social anxiety. There were days where I couldn't even get myself up out of bed to go to class. There were classes that I failed solely because I was too afraid to speak up. But let's talk about me today. Sharon today has learned to speak up for herself and speak with confidence. Sharon today has learned that her perspective matters and that what she has to share with the world is of value. Most importantly, Sharon today didn't need to be perfect to get here. And even in her last semester, as she battled some of the biggest doubts that she had faced in a long time, she faced them and she got through it. Sharon today is so very proud of every single version of herself that has gotten her here to this very moment. Through the moments she thought about quitting or even did quit, she got right back up and tried again and even started all over when she felt that she needed to. And that's why I couldn't be more proud to call myself a college graduate today. Not because of the titles, the grades, the diploma, or even this cool hat that I get to wear, but because of the person that I've become on the journey to learning to believe in myself and persevere and persist through the adversities that I may have faced on the way to achieving a lifetime goal of mine. I couldn't be more grateful for this journey, for all of the twists and turns and for all of the lessons that I've learned. That I'm not who I used to be I'm not living at 17 Let's go! And 
that's why I am at peace and so sure of myself in telling you, if you have a goal, you can reach it. You can surprise yourself in learning more about yourself along the way than you ever thought that you would. You might face difficulties and hardships along the way, and you might even feel a little bit lost at times. You will learn that each time you get back up and choose yourself in your own journey, that you are stronger than you've ever been. So that dream you have, yes, the one that you're thinking about right now as I say this, go for it. It is possible. It is yours. And you have always been deserving of it. Remember that even when a new lesson comes along the way, even if it takes longer than you expected, even if it's not perfect, even if you feel like you don't yet have the tools or support that you want and deserve, even if you have to greet tough patterns like self-doubt and self-sabotage, you have all of the tools to start and that's all you'll ever need. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, for being on this journey with me. I'm very thankful and blessed and grateful to have this space to share authentically and to be vulnerable with you guys and honest about the journey that I'm on. Thank you for listening. If you made it to the end, you are a real one, as I always like to say. With that, take care of yourself. Be well. Have a great day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and stay true. If you want to see more of my graduation photos, and my graduation looks follow my instagram and my tiktok at sharon bell we about to turn up over there so go check it out that I wake is a new day to be great. I'm trying to get it on my own. I'm trying to pave a new way. We trying to set a whole new tone for generations to say. And if you with that phony shit, then you can get on my way. Cause I've been to hell, been back, been around the block, I did that. And through it all, we get back, get back, get down. Get to do it. About time we in your town, so you better act right when we come around.